Hey guys, Random Gamer J here, and this time we're gonna be playing some Super Meat Boy. For those of you who don't know, this game is on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's also downloadable on Steam. The story of Super Meat Boy is basically you're Super Meat Boy, and your girlfriend is kidnapped by the evil Dr. Fetus. Your girlfriend being Bandage Girl. So right here we have a little uh, scene before we start the first stage or level of the game. So, he punches her because you're in love with her, she's in love with you, but nobody loves Dr. Fetus. Now, I'm sorry if the lighting on this video is horrible. I should probably lower that shade in the background, but I'm going to choose not to. As you can see, we have 20 stages. And also, we have these little things sticking out the stages. In addition, we also have this golden panel. And we have a boss all the way down there on the, the bottom right over there. So, there's 20 stages, plus the little extra stages sticking out of stages, plus the golden stage, plus the panel. That's a bunch of stages in World 1 alone. Now, the cool thing about this game is, you have character select screen, which we'll go into that in a little bit later. But So, the obstacle of each level is just a simple platformer. You go get the girl, she gets kidnapped again. Now the goal is to complete it within a certain time, and in doing so you get an A+. What an A+, will allow you to do is go into something known as the Dark World. Just like that, you got another 20 stages, and those stages also have things sticking out of them which are known as Warp Zones. And what the Warp Zone is, is basically a retro... retro throwback to uh, cameos of other old games like this one if you can tell is from like old Metroid the start screen was so you play the stage and you know it's all just reminiscent of other old games and for those of you wondering this game is actually incredibly hard and um it's going to be even more difficult because I'm commentating as I play this and that's just splitting my focus, which is not a good thing for this game. Alright, got her. Now with these retro stages, when you go into the warp zones, there's usually three levels and, oh, and the levels will obviously become more difficult as you progress until you're eventually playing a level that <laughs> you're just going to die a million times on. And as uh, oh, as uh, silly as that may sound, you will die hundreds of times. But the thing that makes that okay with this game is these stages are generally not that long. But I just died again. So for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kill myself one more time and we'll show you some other things. Now, if you look, we'll go back to, oh, sorry about that. So, one of the things that I like about this game, and that I feel adds a lot of replayability to it, is different characters, and the ability to unlock different characters through many different tasks. So, as you see here, here's the character select screen. We have Meat Boy from Hit This Game, Ogmo, who's a cameo from a PC indie game known as The Adventures of Ogmo, there's Gish from Gish, another PC game, Alien Hominid, which you should know is from Alien Hominoid from the Flash game from Newgrounds that also went popular and hit all the other things. Now, as you can see, we don't have this character, but for those of you who are interested, this is the ninja from N+. And as you can tell, it says bandage times 100. So what that is, is in the stage, there are bandages, and not every stage, but certain stages, and collecting those bandages and finishing the stage will allow you to unlock more characters. This is more cameo ca characters, more and more, 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 and then back to Meat Boy. So as you can tell, this game has a lot of unlockables with characters, but not all characters are unlockable with just bandages. Some characters, you actually unlock by hitting special warp zones. So let's see if we can get one here. Uh, is there even a warp zone in this stage? I have no idea. There is not a warp zone in the stage. Okay, I apologize for that. I picked the wrong stage. But the stages will have warp zones in them. Here we go. 
And when you enter the warp zone, now you're one bit. And we have a little scene here. There's Meat Boy, and oh, there's Bandage Girl. So obviously, you're gonna go rescue her. But wait, and in enters another character. This is a Commander Video from Bit Trip Runner. As far as I know, I'm not too knowledgeable about him or his games. I believe he one of his games are downloadable on the Wii. There might be DS versions. I'm not too. I'm not 100% on that. And now the thing that's cool about this is they the unlockable characters each have their own you know things that make them special. Besides having a rainbow path following him, if you double tap the jump, you're actually allowed to do like a air glide. You just hover in air. So in order to unlock the character, you have to play three levels as the character and beating the three levels will reward you with the ability to play that character in any stage you want except for boss battles and the uh, final stage of the game now the thing that I also like about this game in addition to the warp zones in certain stages you'll go there and you'll see your bandage girl at the end of the stage and she'll look like she's glitching and bugging out the truth is that's actually part of the game. That's meant to be there. The reason is, if you get to her when she's bugged out, you'll unlock Glitch Zone. Which is just another example of more classic throwbacks to the old, you know, SNES and such games, regular NES games, where the, the stages or the game itself might, you know, bug out a little bit. Now, I've personally never actually beaten this stage. So, I'm probably not going to beat it right now. And, yeah, I'm definitely not going to beat it right now. But, it's just, it adds more levels to the game than there already are. In addition to that, you have, you have, I believe, six worlds of the main storyline. In addition to those main worlds, you have the internet, which is a bonus stage where you actually, like, the game itself will add additional stages. So, so far we only have these two stages, which was added October 13th and November 21st of 2010. And there are also going to be additional stages coming soon. So, the game itself is actually adding to it, making it even more of a replay value. And when you finish the, the storyline of the game, you unlock something known as Cotton Alley. Now, as silly as this may sound, Cotton Alley is actually the hardest, uh culmination of levels in this entire game now you see we got a cutscene here and I guess you're expecting bandage girl to be taken away but surprise meat boy is taken away so now as bandage girl you're actually going to go get your boy back instead of getting your girl back now bandage girl while technically a different character it's pretty much just the skin on meat boy it plays the exact same way now the thing that's weird about these stages are they're just they're ridiculously hard. Like, ridiculously hard. So, um, let's just go to an example right now. Uh, sure. Ugh. The thing with the regular stages are, when you're playing regular stages, unlike the retro zones, you actually have infinite lives. So you could try over and over and over until you beat it. And you will need to try over and over. I'm just rushing right now for the sake of the video. Let me try. Let me try serious. Hold on. Ugh. Now, for those of you interested in, you can actually, I'm sure you can go on YouTube. I don't know what page. If I find it, I'll link it in the um, description below. You can find links to videos of people who are actually already, oh my god, properly beaten these stages. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. And um, that's only if you know you want to see all the stages in the Cotton Alley, because I definitely will not be showing that in this video. Although I may make later videos or additional videos in a later date showing them off. But um, so an example would be like when you complete a game, a match, or um, stage, map, whatever you want to call it. Um, we'll go to some stage that won't take me an hour to beat. Sure, why not? Now, as I said before, when you complete a stage, they'll actually do a replay and they'll show each and every attempt at the stage. 
So it's just a really funny replay system they have in Planet in this game. And oh, I died. Oh no. And oh, I died again. Oh no. Oops. There I go again. I died. But when you actually do successfully complete the stage. Oh. You get a replay of. Oh yeah, that, that was bound to happen. A replay of this attempt. Which was the succeeding, the successful attempt, as well as any and every other attempt at this stage. So, here we go. I got an A+, plus for speed, and then replay. You see each and every little individual meat boy of your attempts to complete the stage, going through the stage, and inevitably dying. But the game, obviously, will track the one that did it successfully. So, in my opinion, I think Super Meat Boy has the most value of any downloadable game brought out in the last quarter of 2010. Um, I'm actually going to make another video right after this of my second favorite downloadable game of the last quarter of 2010. So um, that's Super Meat Boy. You can get it on XBLA for 800 points and I think 7 or $8 on Steam. Um, so I hope you guys like it and I'll be back with more.